How y'all doing everybody? Welcome to the backyard. And we're going to be cooking a little differently than I have cooked in the past. We're actually going to be using a propane burner. I don't usually use that a lot. It's a homemade burner. But uh, we're going to be doing some beans for you. I call them butter beans. Technically they're a lima. They're a pretty good sized bean. And uh, I sorted these and kind of rinsed them off a little. I don't soak my beans before I cook them unless I'm at a real high altitude or something. Uh, I just cook mine a little bit longer. These beans are going to cook in here for somewhere around two and a half or three hours. Uh, we want a good tender bean. Now starting off, I'm going to cook these beans with just the beans and the meat. Okay. And I'm going to cook them until the beans get just a little tender and then we're going to season it. I believe, and this is my belief, I believe a bean doesn't absorb any of that flavor until it has a chance to get soft, okay? So we want to give it that opportunity to get soft. So in here, we've got water up to about right here. And uh, whenever you cook beans, you need to make sure that there's an inch or two of water over the top of the beans and over the top of your meat. So of everything that's in there, you want about a inch to two inches of water over the top and if you have to ever add water okay you want to make sure you add hot water again these are my beliefs and not everybody else's but i believe if you have hot beans and you add cold water beans are going to get real mushy now we're set up in a slightly different area of the patio to maybe give you some different scenery today to look at and uh, we don't know if that's going to affect the noise affect the lighting or anything we'll have to check that out later but to these beans, we're going to add two pounds of a pork sausage. Now, this is a pork jalapeno sausage, and we've cut it into bite-sized pieces or pieces that are about a half to three-quarter inches long. And I believe that most beans need some form of meat or grease. So bacon, ham hocks, hog jowls, sausage, something like that, I believe in any kind of beans, pinto beans, butter beans especially anything like that i believe they need a little bit of that fat i believe that fat makes the broth a little bit richer and a lot thicker so to this if we splash this all over ourselves today we're going to add those again it's about two pounds of sausage and right now our water level is about three inches over the top of the beans we have a little more water than i would typically care for but as this cooks, I'm hoping I don't have to add water because the water eventually is going to evaporate. I'm going to give these a pretty decent boil, not letting them stick or not letting a bad bean get in there because a bad bean ruins the whole pot. Remember that? So we're going to let these go for a little bit, probably about 30 to 45 minutes. And then we're going to come in and we're going to season them all up for you. Now, folks, again, we're coming to you from a different angle in the patio, a different method of cooking. And here lately, I've been doing some videos that have been way different. But this is just hearty, home-style butter beans. We'll be back shortly to show you what we got. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We've got these beans. They're starting to get a little soft. We're going to add some of our spices to the beans. Now, we're going to season it moderately, and we're going to taste it, and we'll have to add to it later on. To this, we got a half of a white onion, roughly chopped, and a half of a red onion. The reason it's half and half is because we had half of white and half of red in the refrigerator, and we wanted to use them up. But you can use a whole onion. Uh, we just did it this way, just to keep from wasting things. These all in there. This is one diced jalapeno pepper, fairly finely diced. I have the seeds in because I don't mind it being hot. So, give that a quick stir. I hope y'all are having a really good day. Like I say, we're changing up the angle of the way we're shooting a video today. Just to see if it's any different for you. Now, in here, we're going to put one tablespoon of crushed garlic. We've got one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of pepper. We've got a tablespoon 
of paprika. Got in here about three bay leaves. These are fairly small bay leaves, but uh, about three bay leaves. And then the things that I do that other people may not necessarily think are the right things to do. In here is a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of ground sage. Yeah, I know y'all are looking at me kind of funny, but trust me, it's going to be okay. So we got these things right here. Get this down to a little bit more of a simmer. This all stirred up. Smelling good already, folks. Now again, folks, we season this with a basic amount of seasoning. I always start off that way. You can always add to it. You can't take it out. So I uh, like doing it that way. The sausage can vary a little bit. The And it just can vary quite a bit, especially on the salt. Go light on the salt, add to it after you taste it. So we're going to continue to let this cook, and we're going to slow cook this for probably two to three hours, folks. And uh, we're going to let this go and see what happens. We're going to come back, and we'll plate it up for you, and uh, we'll enjoy some beans. Welcome back out to the patio, folks. In our little different setup, we don't even have a table for you today. So we've got these beans fairly well done. And oh, I wish y'all could smell that. And here in a few minutes, y'all probably going to wish that y'all could taste it. I'm going to cut the gas off. We're about done there, folks. We're going to get a little bit into a bowl. Sure miss my table, but hey, we'll zoom in here and take a good look at these tender beans. Oh, I can't wait. I know this is going to be good with some cornbread or some biscuits. This is going to be just a wonderful evening dinner. And I can't wait. And hopefully, you're at home going, man, I wish I could try some of this. And here you go, folks. Some really tender beans. They're hot. You can probably see it smoking from there. Mmm. I like that. You get the jalapeno not only from the sausage, but you get the jalapeno that we added into it just a little bit. It's not screaming hot. We did add a little salt to this as we were cooking and tasting it. We realized that it needed just a little bit of salt. We probably added about, oh, half a, tea, half a tablespoon probably of salt. But uh, really enjoy meals like this. This is, to me, good down-home comfort food. You can't get any better than that. And uh, the broth is so rich, and it just has just a hint of that sage that we added. And that... To me, makes a just a little bit special thing out of butter beans. I don't put that sage in any other beans that I cook, but I do put it in the butter beans, and I really like it, folks. So, folks, we hope y'all had a really good holiday season. We look forward to <clears throat> all the things that 2024 is going to bring to us. Hopefully, a lot more videos. Hopefully, a lot more fans and all that kind of stuff. And we always usually say this in every video we do, but we've got just a small handful of people that like everything, they comment on us, and they are very encouraging to us. When we see them or we communicate with them through whatever means we communicate, they are always asking about the videos, always looking forward to when they come out. And folks, we, don't, we can't thank them enough for that. Hopefully that little small amount will grow to be thousands, if we're lucky, if we're lucky. So folks, we're going to wind down the evening. We're going to enjoy us some good butter beans. 
and uh, hope that you enjoy your evening. And as we end every video we have, enjoy your food.